allowing yourself to settle and again and perhaps if it was helpful for you repeating to yourself I give myself permission to slow down I give myself permission to be here I give myself permission to rest And if it's all right to close your eyes, closing your eyes and being aware of your body, physical sensations that you feel, connection through the feet, through your seat, through your hands. And the practice will begin will begin at the sound of the bell. So as the sound recedes, taking three deep breaths in. letting go. And then as you rest here, quietly with yourself, noticing sounds, not actively looking for sounds, searching for sounds, but just allowing the sounds to arrive. And whatever you hear, making a brief mental note So if there's a sound of a car, you just say to yourself, car. If there's a sound of the clock, you say to yourself, clock. A voice, voice, and so on. So avoiding a narrative for an explanation, but allowing sounds to be noted, to be observed without judgment or opinion. And if there's silence, you notice silence. So we can't control the sounds that go on around us. But we can learn to notice. And if your mind has drifted off on a narrative or a story that's okay. Bring your attention back to the sounds. And again, a brief mental note to yourself. 
and then you let it go. And now, bringing your attention to physical sensation in your body. And just as we practice with sound, just noting, where does your attention go? And just making a short note of how that sensation feels. If it's aching, just say to yourself, aching, heaviness, heaviness, pulsing, heat, coolness, something else. And again, Avoiding the idea of trying to explain why that particular sensation is there. But just noting. Letting it go. Moving on. You might be feeling the breath in your nostrils. Heaviness in the hips. But we're noting and we're allowing room for another sensation to come in. And again, if your mind wanders away, with kindness, we draw your attention back to physical sensations in your body. And there's no right or wrong way of feeling. We're noting, observing, being curious, being here. Almost as though you can rest in a pool of sensation. You might be aware of the movement of your body in relation to your breath. The physical sensations of your breath in your body. You may allow your attention to rest with your breathing as it comes in and as it leaves your body. Not trying to change it. Knowing that your body knows how to breathe. You don't have to do anything but notice. The 
perhaps saying to yourself, I breathe in, as you breathe in. I breathe out, as you breathe out. And in the same way that we notice sounds, physical sensations, breath, allow yourself to notice thoughts as they arise. It's not actively thinking, you don't need to actively think, you know how to think. But allowing thoughts to be present as part of the practice. And again, if there's one particular thought that's there, note it, almost as though you can shake his hand and let it go. And allow another thought to arrive. Note what that thought is. Maybe a thought of something that you want to eat or drink. A thought of another person. Or a memory. And you can notice, perhaps... How thoughts land in your body. So not necessarily physical sensations on the outside. But a feeling on the inside related to a thought. Particularly if there's one thought that just keeps returning. Note to yourself what you feel in your body with that particular thought. And then let it go. So again, we can't control our thoughts but we can learn to notice. To be, object, to be objective, to gain perspective. To judge less. And now, if it's okay, rest in an awareness of anything that comes to you. Not necessarily choosing one particular thing, whether it's a sound, a sensation, your breathing, a thought. Resting in, sometimes we call it choiceless awareness, and just allowing any of these things to come to you. But being with that deep understanding that whatever comes to you, you make a note, a brief mental note, you name it, and you let it go.
remembering that whatever comes to you, you don't have to take it personally. Thoughts are just phenomena. Sensations come and go. Sounds recede. And we don't have to take any of this personally. As we rest in awareness, taking note, observing, letting go. And now if it's all right, bringing your attention to your breathing consciously, drawing your attention back to your breath. And again, just as we started, if it's all right, taking three deep breaths in and out. Bringing your attention back to your body. And then just allowing your breath to settle a little bit. And being aware of the contact you have with your feet, with what's resting beneath. Physical sensations of your seat or your buttocks, your hips or your lower back. Contact with the ground or your mat cushion or chair. The sensations in your hands. And using these sensations to give you a feeling of grounding, being grounded, being here. And noting how you feel now, taking the time to notice. And it might be that you're just noticing your breathing. Your physical sensation. Or it may be that inside your head, maybe there's a bit more space. And sitting 
resting in this awareness, quietness, stillness, until the sound of the bowl just signifies the end of the practice. And as the sound recedes, noting to yourself how you are right now. And maybe just starting to gently move your fingers, your toes, roll your head. Anything really that feels appropriate for you right now. And you can keep your eyes closed for a little bit longer. Or you can just, if you're sitting, you can turn your gaze down. And just in your own time, just gently open your eyes. If you're lying down, just coming to rest over on your side. So take in your time. Until you feel ready to come. Back to the room. <laughs> 